Hey friends, so it's been a little bit since I have done a pre-order video um, and I wanted to show you how I do pre-orders, how they're successful. Um, I have done pre-orders since I became a consultant over two years ago um, and there's only been a couple of times where I have not been able to snag the items that I am like aiming to get for my customers. Um, and it hasn't been like super... Um, like large, like commercial items, like uh, anything super licensed, anything like that. Um, sometimes it's been like warmer of the month, um, but most of the time I have been able to get the products for the customers. So um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen and show you exactly what I do. So um, let me share my screen over here. Okay, so with, I've logged on to my workstation and under your orders tab, you'll go to open orders. And if you don't have a party created, like you need to have a party open all the time for just online orders. Um, if it's something special, like that you think is going to get over 200, like it's gonna be a party. If you think it's going to be over $200 in sales, that is a party. So even if it's your own personal like customers or something like that, you can certainly make it your own party. Um, that's how you can get your own free wax and half price items, whatever, free items, uh, giveaway items for customers. Um, I always use the perpetual party reward to get sin circles, just examples. Um, but how do I do pre-orders? So first of all, I like to do pre-order forms. This can be a whole other video, but I'm going to show you um, a job form that I recently created for the Alice in Wonderland collection that is coming out on Monday. Job form is relatively easy to use. You can go to um, YouTube and search how to do uh, make a job form or create a form on job form. And um, it just, it's super easy. The customer just fills all this information out. Here's all the products here and their method of payment and submit. It will then pop up on my app that they filled out the uh, pre-order form. And then I contact them within five business days and let them know their total and they can send me the money or whatever. I typically tell them to have the uh, money in within 24 hours uh before the release i like it the day before usually so i take what's on here sometimes i'm more of a pen and paper person for the scooby-doo um i had four people who wanted certain products from the scooby-doo collection and i did just like a pen and paper i marked whether or not they paid um sometimes i also do um like microsoft word or google docs i'll put like the customer's name and i will put what exact products they want. I'll calculate their order with the shipping. If you need to do that, plug in an order, like a, um, a random order that might be like the same amount and it'll let you know the tax with shipping. Um, I usually just use Kentucky tax. Uh, sometimes I'll look up if they live in a different state what their tax might be. Um, and then I'll send them a total. They send me their money and we're good. So there's so many different ways to do it. I actually just started using job forms again since we are getting into more busy seasons, it's just easier to stay organized. I'm absolutely going to do one of these for the Harvest Collection. Um, so Jot Form, Pen and Paper, uh, Microsoft Word, uh, Google Forms, whatever works best for you. I recommend keeping some sort of list uh, or just keeping it organized so that you know what customer wants, want, wants what and you can get their payment as needed. Once I have all of that, I have my party created. This is my party that I'm probably going to close on uh, Monday when the Alice in Wonderland collection launches. And um, as you can see, I don't really have anyone in this party added yet. Um, I have office supplies that just has merchandise sacks in it. And that's how I keep track of my uh, business expenses. So um, if I wanted to add a guest, so let's say my husband, Jeremy wanted to get the Alice in Wonderland collection. Um, 
I'll add him as a, a new guest. And if I want his order shipped directly to him, I will click yes on this. I'll swipe that over, make sure the address is entered and correct. Um, but if it's being shipped to me, like and it'll say an extra shipping charge will be applied and then you'll add the products to the cart. Um, but if not, if it's shipping to me, I'll put no. And you can do um, save and add products to cart. And you can do this for as many customers as you want. Whoever wants to pre-order, you know, whatever. Let's say he wanted the Wally Warmer. So that is right here. And as you can tell, my host credit went up because I added that. So I can actually like plug in what I want and then check out. My suggestion would be to figure out, like once you have all your customers added, sorry, that's like all my rewards I've already added. But once you figured out all the rewards that you, um, once you figure out everything that the customers want, um, you will then add all your rewards. I recommend adding up everything that the customers, you know, their amount, and then go ahead and plug in your rewards. Like you can put like fake items here that like you can put, let's say you're selling um, uh, five Wally warmers, but you're not gonna close the party until um, next week or you're going to sell another warmer that is $80. So just something like that. You can plug in the same amount um, for whatever products you want to put in there. Sometimes I put like, you know, pods or just whatever's the same amount as what your party is going to close at. That is uh, how you'll get your host credit. Go ahead and plug in your host credit. And then from there, you can just plug in everything that your customer wants and then check out, close out the party, and you're good to go. Um, credit card payments can be a little tricky. I try to put them, go ahead and put them on like a Word doc or a, a Google doc, something like that. Something that I'm not going to obviously share with anyone. That way I can just copy and paste the card number and expiration date, whatever. Um, I can copy and paste that information and just check out. Of course, I do prefer customers to just Venmo me, Cash App, something like that. Um, but we do have customers who are like, can you please, can I please just give you a card number? That's perfectly fine. We just cannot take any sort of payments before five business days. So we cannot go ahead and take payments for the Harry Potter stuff that's coming out on the first Harvest Collection. You cannot collect payments for that just yet. Um. <clears throat> So I really hope that this helped. This is essentially how I do pre-orders. I enter the customer into the workstation here. If it's being directly shipped to them, I will select that as the option. And then um, as soon as the products go on sale, I go in, plug in what they want, and I check out like immediately. And of course, I put in my host credit as well. You don't want any of that to go to waste, especially if it's a party going to you. So I really hope that this helped. Um, I know it was a little brief, but um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Are there any other tactics that you like to use for pre-orders? Let me know in the comments below as well. Thank you guys and have a great day.